Now I love water holes. And if you look up whitetails for water hole on Google, deer water holes, how to create a water hole, you'll find a lot of writings of mine because I've been doing it for a decade or more. And for that amount of time, we've been using these plastic tubs and I really like them. And we've migrated from half cut 55 gallon barrels. So we had 27 and a half gallon trough, basically 60 gallon tanks, 50 gallon tanks. You have a 70 gallon tank. My favorite is this 110 gallon tank. And that being said, really important to keep these full. And that seems rather obvious. Obviously, if you're going to sit on a stand around here that takes advantage of these, which you should never have a water hole if you don't have a bow hunting stand nearby. But when you have this water hole, there's going to be a certain percentage of bucks, especially when they're cruising, they're coming onto the property. They like the water hole. They're coming in late October. They're coming through the rut. They might only be here during the rut. They want to hit this water hole, and that's why they're going out of their way, might be on their way. But bottom line, they're hitting this water hole. And what I found is if this ends up becoming dry, so say you don't fill it in early October or September like you intended to, it becomes dry. Those deer come here one, two, three, four times, and then they stop coming here unless it's in their defined line of daily movement. But again, those cruising bucks that are coming through the area, they might be visiting from off lands. If this water is not here, it might not make them go right in front of your stand where you want to. Fill it with water. I found it takes two to three weeks for those deer in the area to start using it again in their daily pattern. It just, once it's dry, they ignore it, moves them out of the line, and it takes a lot to get them back into that line. So folks, keep your water holes filled. That seems obvious, but it's important to use a larger tank. That's why we use 110 gallon tanks. This is actually uh, 30 inches deep, three by four feet. So it's a pretty big, big area of uh, water. I find that when we were at 27 and a half gallons with those little half half cup barrels, they might last two, three weeks in really hot weather and then that was it. So when we were only coming to film every seven, eight weeks or a couple months, then it was really hard to establish that pattern of use by the deer. Use something a little bit larger. We like to dig them in, which is another point. Um, so this 110 gallon seems to be the perfect balance between offering enough water that lasts an appreciable amount of time and offering this huge 275 gallon tank that we might have to spend a half day of digging or use heavy equipment to get into this into the soil the way we like it so make sure they're, they're full and you'll keep that deer use coming to them all season long